that's the first year. On the other side, where are you finding struggles that maybe you hadn't planned on, where things maybe aren't at this stage going quite the way you'd hoped? Uh, I'm confident about economic growth. Um, I know the sensitivity of some major projects that are nearly over the line and will be announced next year, and they are around the spa. So I believe when you signal um, leadership in an area like we are the spa and hot springs of the Pacific, now investment is starting to come. And so that's the symbolism of, of significant uh, commitments that Council makes. The other one is definitely to cycling, economic development. Actually it's going so fast it'll be greater growth there than 16% per annum. That is huge for Rotorua. And I think the Green Corridor is just symbolic of linking up not only activities at, at, in the forest and with the Enduro track uh, for Crank Works, but the fact that we can get around the city uh, more safely is a good thing for the community to feel too. But the economic benefits are flowing so fast that we are gearing up as a city to have to meet it. What a delicious <laughs> challenge that is. That's a question about the economic benefits. Mm. How are citizens, ratepayers, primarily citizens, going to see those benefits? Well, they'll certainly see that they can ride through town safely and that'll happen sooner, um, sooner than they would have ever seen. In fact, we wouldn't have been able to afford it as a council if we didn't get that NZTA funding. So and have a plan. economic benefits? Well, economic benefits, and there's a lot of studies that show that actually cyclists bring a greater economic gain to a, to a retail and a commercial area than cars do. So that's, um, start, people are starting to see those economic benefits. Until we have it, they won't see that. Uh, but it's symbolising that there's life here. I believe the next step for us that's hard, and it is hard, and we'll have to face it next year, are those buildings that are left that people will never see as fit p for purpose. Glenn Hawkins. Um, very clear, what an excitement to see him building a three-storey building in Fenton Street. But he looked at some of our other buildings, but the cost of making them earthquake strengthened and then for, for purpose was just not economically viable. So he went to a Greenfields investment site. The earthquake strengthening thing is something that it, the council and yeah. building owners still yeah. have to we do. deal with somehow. We do, and that's, that's a big challenge for us next year and some primary thinking's happened in the economic development portfolio, but I think we've got to really get some teeth around that now.